Hello and welcome to another Meraki Minute. In this episode, we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily enable Cisco's next generation intrusion prevention system, SNORT, on the Meraki MX security appliance. Then, we're going to show you the kind of protection that IPS actually provides and why it's important for your business. Let's jump over to the threat protection page in the Meraki dashboard. Here we can enable the Cisco elements of the universal threat management features of the MX. We can enable SNORT to act in one of two ways, detection or prevention. In detection mode, SNORT will simply alert when traffic going through the MX matches one of the signatures, whereas in prevention mode, the MX will stop the flow for the traffic going through the MX that matches one of those signatures. Unless there is an explicit business reason to operate in detection mode, we strongly recommend operating in prevention mode. Next we have to pick a rule set to run on SNORT. These rule sets are created by Cisco Talos, who are Cisco's threat intelligence organisation and are the largest non-governmental entity of this kind in the world. The rule sets available are connectivity, balanced and security, and equate to a common vulnerability scoring system score of greater than or equal to 10, 9 and 8 respectively. This includes all the appropriate CVSS for the current year and the previous two years, so for example 2020, 2019 and 2018 only. Whilst this might sound like this makes your networks less secure by emitting older signatures, it is actually a best practice as it keeps the SNORT signature database as light as possible to avoid processing delays, connection timeouts or fail open scenarios. Additionally, if you have a critical vulnerability that is both 2 plus years old and available to the internet, there's a very high probability that you will already be known. So to paraphrase the Beer with Talos podcast folks, patch your stuff. Finally, once we have decided upon the rule set we want to run, we just hit the save button and the MX loads that rule set and starts protecting your network. In the unlikely event that you encounter a false positive rule match from Snort, you have the ability to whitelist a rule that you are encountering the false positive from here in the UI. Let's jump over to Security Center to see if we have any events to explore. We can see from the high level overview that we do indeed have a rule that's been hit 9 times. Let's jump into the event view to investigate. Starting with the top event, let's take a look at the related SNORT rule. If we click on it, we will deep link through to the appropriate entry in the SNORT database. We can see from the information on the event that the behaviour matching this signature suggests that a system has been affected by malware, so we should certainly investigate a little bit further. Let's jump back to the security centre. We can do this by inspecting the actual packet that matched this signature. We can see here that it was a DNS request from Steve's Mac Pro to 1.2.3.4 and it was blocked. If we look a little closer though, we can see that the A record that was queried is a long string of something .dataxfil.pw. The domain here definitely looks suspicious, looks like an example of DNS data exfiltration to me. Also that long string of text looks like hex, so let's see if we can convert that into something more sensible. If we drop the hex into a hex to ASCII converter, I wonder what we'll get. Hmm, Snort is the number one next generation IPS. Well it's not Cisco confidential, but it is true. Let's jump back to Security Center to see what other data has been leaking out of my network. If we grab the domain prefix from the next packet and drop it into the hex to ASCII converter, what do we see? Ah, Meraki for the win, no silver bullets. Again, not Cisco confidential, but very true. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on what Snort is and how it helps to protect you and your users when it's inside the Meraki MX. If you're interested in learning more about anything we have covered today, all the details are in the video description below. Catch you all in the next video.